Hello there, Codemaker4 here. So, once upon a time I was born and I decided to start yet another side project. I have too many of those, but they make good video subjects. So this one is Battleships. I actually have a physical, like, ship that you can play Battleship on. Awesome. And I decided to make this game inside of Discord using the new interactions. I can do slash new game which uh, this is very nice user experience well done discord um oh this is awkward wait one second i tried to delete a message that didn't exist okay awesome oh and um, by the way the code is long and awful it's 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 a over a thousand lines It's it's awful. Don't don't code like this. So let's try this again. So if you want to create a new game, you can do a slash new game, and then there's going to be this message that the bot creates, and you can click join game. Of course, you can't join your own game. I'm quickly going to log into my phone using my alt account and click join game. So now uh, my alt account is the opponent, and the bot also created a new channel which we can go there. And I can start placing my ships. So this here is a secret message, only I can see. The, the entire interface relies upon selecting a row and a column, and then uh, doing something like placing a small ship. And then you can. I'm I'm just gonna put some real crap the ship placement. There are deep mathematical strategies on what's best. Oh, also there's an undo button, and if a ship doesn't fit, the button gets disabled. So let's just E and, I don't know, 3. Um, no, let's go for 9. Uh, and let's demonstrate you can also place off to the left and place the largest ship. And I actually want to move that one more to the right. Place car ship. Awesome. Then we finish placement. And, uh, oh, I also need to do this on my phone. One second. So I'm on my phone... Uh, essentially doing the same thing, except it's even more terrible, tactically speaking. And now we're done. And now it's my turn. So I can just select a row and a column. And I do have row and column backwards, I know that. I just, I'll fix that soon. Let me fire. And then the bot's going to say if I missed. And I, apparently I did miss, that's a bummer. So now the opponent can play, uh, and there also the opponent is going to be choosing a place to go. There's no AI here. This is just me on my phone. Of course, I can't click fire. The opponent needs to do that. I missed again. Hmm. Okay. So uh, I know my terrible ship placement. So I'm just gonna also. Of course, it reveals the ocean. If I click fire, now it's going to be a hit. And my alt account missed, it's playing terribly. So now that I know that there's a ship there, it's like the, the red destroyed ship. And oh, there's a ship there over well, we're doing very nice. Except of course I'm playing against myself, so I know where all the ship placement is. So here's some footage from me uh, playing against a Discord server uh, from a while ago. So let's go look at that. Okay. Oh cool, we're on equal uh, amounts now. Yes. Only I now have to find another ship. And this is the five long one. I haven't actually played this game in real life. Oh, good. I have played it in real life, but it's been so long since I actually did. And then I feel like, like I have hard. played this game in real life with my sister. And I feel like this is actually going faster, which I didn't really expect. Like, in I real mean, life, you have to, like... There are like these pins, and they're so small yeah. and awful. You have to like put them exactly where you want them, and you have to yeah. follow every rule manually. Which, for some reason, is one fact of board games that I don't really like, that you have to keep track of every single rule all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's nice when cards, when, you know, card games like uh, Uno. When the rules are explained on the cards. Yeah. I wonder if there is there's a is there an English name for Mansergenit? 
Uh, Human, do not worry. <laughs> that's that's not really a good translation. Human, do, do not be annoyed. Don't be annoyed, human. Don't be sad. I'm just making a grid pattern now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you need to do. Like, at some point when you... Like, I've looked into... Or actually, when I play this, I don't consider myself to be a professional or anything. I'm an absolute noob, so uh, that's a lot better than <laughs> me. Yeah, but, but I have, like, thought stuff through. And I think I... Like, what you want to do is you want to create diagonal lines. And the spacing between that line should be the spacing of the shortest ship you're still trying to find. And That's then you cover tactic, everything. I don't know what ship I'm trying to find, so I'm Like, there's just, one I'm ship of... For me, I think you're still trying to find a ship of length to... At least, so you need to, like, yeah, make a but... checkup board at this point. So, yeah, I'm trying to find ships of length 2 and one of length 3. And one of length 4. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining, like, a gunner on a... An artillery... An artillery gunner on a ship just firing in a grid pattern be like now where are they where are the engines and then just hearing a message like you hit a ship yes i hit part of a ship <laughs> yes just, just actual battleships playing battleship i don't even remember where i put my ships Oh, if you go like in the pinned messages all the way to the top and go click on the uh, go place your ships Gems. button again. Oh, yeah. Then you can see your ship layout. And at the end, there's going to be a button for reveal your ship placement that like reveals the, the boards in a public message. I feel like it's a. Is it possible to make like a pinned message, but you can't see the other person's pinned message or whatever? So no, you can't you can pin see. a ephemeral message. Okay. Just gridding the yes, the grid worked. Very yes, nice. I shouldn't have revealed my tactics. Imagine this first match becomes a draw, and we're just like, oh well, guess that. Oh, no, it it can never become a draw. Okay. Oh, Unless the bot no, crashes, of course, but. Fire? Yes. Oh, no. Oh my god. I did it. Oh, oh please, no. Please, please. I am being I'm beaten at my own game. I'm to the bot. Someone beat me at my own game. No. Technically, oh my god, yeah. Technically, it's not your own game, though. Well, I mean, like I create. I, mean, I, I think. I, I think this. I think the saying works in this it's, context. It's fine. <laughs> They're gonna be so pissed when I tell you where the actual ship is. Yes, oh, I am. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Imagine I just take 500 turns to find the last part of your ship. <laughs> okay, so, there, test. Okay, but I'm, I'm gonna I need, exactly. like, even if I find your ship right I, now, I'm gonna need, I... like, still four more turns. Yeah, you're gonna win this next round. Damn it. Yeah. You're gonna be so mad. <laughs> I am. I am already mad. <laughs> no, but you're gonna be a lot more frustrated. I, I, I know you're gonna be for there we go yes reveal and now there's the placement. the reveal ship maze it was, on the top it was in the top one you're kidding me shoot. no i should have thought of that because of course that's the first button you press that, that if was you don't know what you like, need to do that was why it was like oh my god when i mm, saw my own ship placement i was like oh my god how <laughs> That was amazing. So when I was testing the bot out and I just wanted to like go through a full game, I edited the file so that there was only going to be one ship of length one. And it was always length placed two, in A1 downward in that exact position. 
um, now when we start to play mm-hmm. i should have known that that's like the the default thing you do if you don't know what you need to do in fact i i didn't even mean to place it there i thought i could click on the emoji and then like play ship place in one length and yeah, then no, I was yeah. like, wait i have to select the coordinates so i it placed it at one a facing downwards and i was like oh god no i don't want to do that <laughs> yeah yeah you can't create a 10 by 10 button grid like five by five is the max uh, well actually i have to go now but uh that was that was fun <laughs> yeah bye bye yeah bye so creating this Battleships game was a very interesting experience. Although I don't think Battleships is a particularly fun game to play, it is a very interesting thing to try to make, especially within the limitations of Discord. Of course, with interactions, there's a lot of nice things you can do these days, but uh, I still can't, for example, select a emoji to click on. I need to select a separate row and column. I also can't have a 10 by 10 button grid. The limit for that is 5 by 5. So I need to work around some limitations. That gives you some really good, uh, almost real world experience. And that's why you do side projects. Not because they are, the end result is nice, but because it's a uh, learning experience. Anyways, I'm Codemaker for... Uh, next week there's going to be more stationeers. I've heard that they have done awesome work on updating uh, stuff. I don't think I'll be playing in a better branch though. So, but still excited for when it comes out.